Congratulations to Witch Magazine for exposing serious false savings claims and long-standing problems of unsupervised selling, sudden price drops, that sort of thing. This excellent expose of individual salespeople who lie in an unsupervised sales situation begs the question, why don't witch demand that all selling of solar heating is done with supervision? Because it could be. Are witch greenwashing you? Because they ignore two major false claims which are being made by the solar trade right now, which even makes one false claim itself. Here are the top PR guns of the Solar Trade Association. A witch expose of them is conspicuously missing from this article. Is it because dubious claims are made by people who are just too high up to touch? We're going to be looking at Howard Zero Carbon Johns of the Solar Trade Association and David Legionella Matthews. But let's look at which first. Which says no advertising, no bias, no hidden agenda, independent, advice you can trust, all that kind of stuff. But we don't think they are independent, unbiased. It looks as if there is a hidden agenda, and that their expertise, which is so great, is actually not that good. They're great at extracting apologies. Look at this, water companies, Saga, GMTV, hospitals, another water firm, McAfee. But it's not very good at apologising when it makes mistakes itself, and boy oh boy has it done some. They even spend members' subscriptions on taking legal advice on how to refuse making corrections. Let's make a declaration of interest. I'm Barry Johnson, I'm Managing Director of Solar Twin, and I was <sighs> incensed and amazed and impressed by the Witch article on solar mis-selling. I saw a lack of really green solar heating and a real lack of honesty in the industry, and I decided to work on both. I developed a simple patented solar heating technology and a new business model. Don't worry, this isn't a, a commercial, it's going to stop in a minute, um, which was green, reliable, good value a freezable zero carbon system that could be fitted in the home in four to six hours, selling by phone with supervision so there's no bullshit and with aerial photography so we can look at the roofs. What we do is underpin by environmentalism and transparency and that's the problem. We're being too environmental and too transparent, which and the Solar Trade Association don't want to go as far as we do. We inverted the design priorities of solar heating. We changed from efficiency per square meter to sustainability on top. When we did that, the Solar Trade Association went wild. We sell by phone. We take real care and pride in our work. We, it takes detail and diligence for this alternative approach to work well. Zooming into somebody's house from the sky and we look at the roof. We ask about the hot water cylinder. Which don't get things right. They said that quoting on the phone is a practice doomed to failure. No way, we've been doing it for 10 years. The unsupervised on-site salespeople who are doomed to false claiming, supervised telesales in solar like we do, are a good solution. As long as you're selling a simple system that doesn't use mains electricity, doesn't use high pressure plumbing, doesn't use antifreeze and new hot water cylinders, you can do it all by phone dead easy. So why does Witch's highly qualified solar expert condemn all phone quotations when a blanket condemnation is incorrect? And why are the payback lies so widespread? A payback chart from Tesco from the internet. They're saying that you'll save £102 with a solar heating system. I think that's pretty much pretty high. But what they haven't put in their payback calculations are two other figures which are negative. Which says that you, you have to pay £32 a year to maintain a solar heating system. We have got lots of research that shows it costs another £8 to run a pump for a conventional heating system. Both of these are missing from the table. Here's the which payback table. Gas, £50 savings, they're saying, and then the CO2 savings, and then what you might get if you got a grant and so on. But missing from this table is the £32 per annum of maintenance. So if a salesperson rather than which forgot to deduct maintenance costs, would it be the cause for complaint to which? Why are which bleating about false payback claims when they do the same themselves? More false claims. Howard Johns. Chairman of the Solar Trade Association, he claims that solar heating is a truly zero carbon technology. Well, how can it be? If it's plugged into the main at the mains power station, you're using electricity. That electricity negates the environmental benefits of solar by 20%. And here's the evidence. There's one report. Here's another from the Energy Saving Trust with the 8% um, identified. Well, these different studies, they all show about 8% energy use in compared to the energy that you save with the solar heating. So in most British homes, they're mains gas homes. That translates, according to almost every independent report you can see, to about a 20% carbon um, clawback. That's not much good. If you're looking at a zero carbon system, which is what Howard Johns claims it is, and you've got a 20% carbon clawback, it's not a zero carbon system. This guy's lying. He's the top man of the Solar Trade Association, and he's also managing director of Southern Solar, which was the only company which was promoted in the Witch Report on solar heating. 
for five years of environmental advance in your home, a standard solar heating system, let's say, there's one year of environmental retreat at the power station chimney, or in motoring terms, it's like a car salesman saying, your car does 50 miles an hour, mate, when in fact it only does 40, because there's a fuel leak, which he knows about and which can easily be fixed right in the heart of the engine. Zero carbon? My hat. Don't believe these cowboys. It's an environmental con. It's greenwash. Solar is about, about protecting the planet. And the Solar Trade Association's 20% car clawback cover-up has been running since 2001. They even fined us, Solar Twin, a thousand pounds for challenging the cover-up. There's another cover-up. Legionella is a bacterium which, if you inhale, can cause pneumonia, which kills about 10% of people. And what's amazing is that the diagram that which publish of solar plumbing doesn't comply with the health and safety executive guidance in UK on Legionella safety. The base of it in the black rectangle here. It could remain tepid for under 50 Celsius for months in the winter, allowing Legionella to grow to high numbers. Half of that hot water store can't be heated daily to 60 degrees C when the HSE says it should be. In fact, about 80% of British solar plumbing is not compliance with the HSE guidance. There are ways to do things right. Here's some examples, but the Solar Trade Association won't endorse these simple solutions, heating from the base or thermal stores. They won't endorse them. The Solar Trade Association even claims that their advice is closely based on, on L8, which is the HSE Legionella guidance. It's not closely based, it deviates from it, hugely. The Solar Trade Association, David Matthews, their chief executive, claims they do extensive research and testing into Legionella. They don't. We even put an, um, a prize out of a free solar panel to anyone who could find evidence that they actually did extensive search and research and testing and it wasn't claimed. It's just not true. The Solar Trade Association's David Matthews, chief executive, he lies. Then he starts saying to me, the Legionella issue is best left alone. Any mention of Legionella and solar brings out customer concerns that are unjustified. Oh yeah? Then he threatens, Barry, you just be very careful. If I see any evidence of malpractice, blah, 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 I will act. Sure he'll act. He tried to expel us from one of the government's consultation bodies on, on rules for grants. They tried to block us implementing safer solutions. He says they can't reconsider our membership. They threw us out of the Solar Trade Association for telling the truth while we actually try to tell the truth, and we're repeatedly aggressive and damaging. I'll tell you who's being repeatedly aggressive and damaging. It's the Solar Trade Association for trying to cover up Legionella issues and zero carbon issues. They're lying. The Solar Trade Association's top guns are lying. David Matthew even promised to me that he'd get us involved in the government's consultation on Legionella. He didn't. In the end, there was a suppressed document, which um, was a bombshell when it was released. Dr. Tom Macon, who's the co-author of the Legionella guidance, said it's highly likely that Existing solar heating systems, I'm paraphrasing, are creating a health risk with, with regards to Legionella. Highly likely that solar heating, most of it, is creating a health, health risk. We've produced two alternative plumbing solutions and the solar trade don't endorse them as superior. Why? Because the Solar Trade Association dominate the technical committees in UK and they dominate them politically even though technically they know they're on losing and dangerous grounds. The cowboy number two, which trusts the Solar Trade Association, even though they promote non-compliant, on safety grounds, solar heating systems. Is which magazine overlooking false environmental claims by, on the left, Howard Johns as chairman of the Solar Trade Association? And are they, on the right, ignoring false safety claims being made by David Matthews? But what's most interesting is that the Witch magazine article published in May 2010 investigated 14 solar heating companies and said that 10 of them didn't come up to scratch in terms of their claims and that only one of those companies was actually worthy of mention. It was Howard Johns's company. Howard Johns's company, Southern Solar. As chairman of the Solar Trade Association, Howard Johns produces lies on zero carbon, yet which support him. The solar Trade Association, which he chairs, produces lies on Legionella, and which magazine support him. I think there's some credibility issues with the Solar Trade Association and their wheels are falling off. Howard Johns, the STA chairman, is which magazine's only approved supplier of solar heating. They give his name, address, phone number, website, the lot. But he's a serial liar about the environmental performance of solar water heating. Are Howard Johns and the Solar Trade Association greenwashing which? So that which we greenwash us, the consumer? There's another video on this. It's called Solar Heating Cowboys Greenwashing Witch Magazine. Thank you from Barry Johnson at Solar Twin.